of your of your patients today, what was uh, one particular memorable? Um, I would have to say the little the little 15 month old that was pretty sick. She had um, some a bad skin rash. She was really sick. She had blood in her diarrhea. Just real dehydrated. She was kind of lethargic, and um, we had to actually start her IV in her foot, and actually your wife did. So kudos to her on that one. And we were able to give her some antibiotics and fluids, and she looked a lot better and seemed like she was responded in a positive manner into her treatments. And uh, so that was that. She was probably the, the the sickest person I've seen today. peripherally and we weren't able to get it so we have to go to a, a more advanced procedure for IV which is an intraosseous and that entails inserting this, this needle here directly into her bone which obviously has a blood source so you're able to tap into that to get fluids and medicine into her bloodstream so this needle goes in pull the needle out and then you put your IV on top of this while the needle is in there and infuse your medicine and fluids through her, basically through her shin bone. It's kind of a last resort, you usually only do it when the kids are really sick and, and don't, really feel, don't have a lot of feeling as far as pain and everything. So we, we kind of numbed up her area just so she can have some uh, some less tolerance to pain. It's, it's a pretty painful procedure, if you can only imagine. So, but what's, what's wrong with her? Um, she's got a bad infection. She's, she's really sick, dehydrated. She hasn't been eating, so she's she's malnourished also. This is um. This is one that has bad up track. So this is going to go in. Yeah, back of the leg is still soft, no bolus of any kind. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. 
You're good? So, alrighty. I'll get a cuff bag to... I got a little, I made lunch that cooked in the nice. way, so I made the little deal with it. Let's see if it's good. Mm -hmm. thing that was kind of ironic about this is that her her sickness and injuries were not because of the earthquake they were uh, she was had severe diarrhea and was severely mal malnourished and um, so in a weird way the earthquake saved her life so we got to take her and she got to be with the, the Swiss doctors the Swiss pediatricians and she did in, like the best care uh, so that was really impacting for me getting to be a part of that and the procedures that were done to her and then getting to transport her to the, the uh, hospital was really was really amazing. 